What's up, everyone? Welcome back, as we have our third box Commander Legends. When I opened up the first two, I didn't actually have this third box, but it came in the mail today. So I'm pretty excited to open it up and see if it's the best box or the worst box or just in the middle box. Hopefully it's the best, though. I have been enjoying all the nifty things you get out of Commander Legends. I have been brainstorming decks and just brainstorming decks and I can't ever come to a final decision on what I'm going to make. So, it is what it is. But we're going to get right into cracking these packs. And maybe we'll open some stuff that draws even more inspiration. Alright, we got our commons. And then our uncommons are two legends. Still come. Alright. Our first foil rare is a Spectator Steeding. And then we have a Extended Art Myriad Landscape and Extended Art Acroma's Will. And then our etched foils we have Dargo, Carador, and Gen. So let's do Uncommon, two rares, and a token. Actually, I can move this up here. Now we have a spot for. Uh, extended art foils and extended art foil common uncommons and extended art foil resin. But moving right on to pack two, get through our commons. All right, codex. Ooh, a, nice a foil arcane signet. Then we get a nice foil keeper of the accord. Goes there. We got a extended art arcane denial and a extended art Sakashima's will. And then we have. Sinai, and then, ooh, Brago, nice, and Neurolock. A couple of cards that I have not pulled yet. So, very nice to pull things that have not been pulled in the previous two boxes. If you haven't seen the previous two boxes, you should go check them out. And hopefully I haven't been holding the cards too high. Alright, so, we got, uncommon, we got a Foil Victimize Extend Art. Then we have a, another Uncommon Legend. And then our Foil Rare Legendary card, uh, Eurolock. And then we have a Foil Extend Art Coercive Recruiter, which will go here. We got our Birdist Chart and Body of Knowledge Extend Arts. We got Arumi. And then we got Najila and Jared. So, from the previous videos, it seems like one out of every three packs is going to have, or about a quarter of them, is going to have an extender art foil card. And let's see if we can hold true into that. Alright, we got an extended art wheel of misfortune. Too bad it's not wheel of fortune. We have a command tower and a Triumphant Reckoning, which I think there's only one of these per box, so that's an interesting card. Not the one I was particularly hoping for, but it's alright. Because it is stuff that I do not have. And I'm fine with opening stuff that I have not opened yet. Although I think I might have opened up a foil wheel of this working already. I'm not sure. I always do this and I have to go back and look. Alright, we have a Foil Aura Phoenix, we have a Braid, Blossom's Act, Extended Art, Numa, Karametra, which I know I've opened already, and Hans Ericsson, which I have not opened. Pretty sweet. Hans Ericsson, I think that's the guy from Lurgoyf, Akhans Runs. Maybe? Maybe? Let me know in the comments. Alright, we got Sakashima's Protégé. We have a Mole Drifter. Ooh, nice! An Extended Art Rings of Bright Hearth. That's, that's definitely going into some deck at some point. We got Nadier, Ishai, and Nim Nimris, which I have not opened yet, so that's cool. And we are halfway through the box 
at about the five minute mark. Can I get that magical ten minute? Well, I can make the video as long as I want it to make it. But I also don't want to go too long. Oh, nice. So we have our legend slot, and we have an uncommon legend, and then we got a foil Kam Kamal Heart of Croza. So I'll always take that. We have a foil full art slash the ranks. We have a the Cirrus here and an Archon of Coronation. I was not expecting to get a second it's an art mythic, but this is pretty cool. We got a Teleth. Nice. A Maelstrom Wanderer. I have not pulled that one yet. And a Bell Borka. So, pretty interesting box. Uh, two Excited Art Mythics is sweet. Something I was not expecting. And then a, a Foil Kamal, which out of all the stuff I bought, because I ha had a regular draft booster box, I also pulled a Foil Kamal out of that. So, I now have three Foil Kamals. Alright, got the Immaculate Magistrate. We have a Thought Vessel. We have another Slash Rites, one foil, one non foil. Glacian, Silas Wren, and Lisa. Have, the, have any of you pulled any great things out of your Commander Legends packs? Have you bought any collector's packs? I know they were quite pricey. They may be coming down a bit, and I am not terribly sure, so... We have a Brass Herald. I think I've got this Foil Extended Art Humble Defector in just about every box I've opened. We have a Foil Disc as well. We have a Path of Ancestry. We got a Nevi's Disc. We got Togo Queen Marchesa, another etched foil I have not opened yet. Pretty nice. And an Averna. I'm sorry, I don't know why the lighting's so bad today. I'm just now noticing that like one half of the uh, the right hand side of the screen is just not very well lit. I have moved some things around, so um, I'll have to find I'll have to get a setup at some point that gives me really good lighting. All right. All right, we got a foil seraphic greatsword. We got our witches. We got an undergrowth stadium, which is nice. I definitely want more of these uh, extended art uh, battle lands. Ooh, okay. We got Yuriko the tiger shot, which is another one that I have not pulled yet, so I'm pretty cool. I'm excited to pull that. And Karark the thumbless. Down to our last two packs. Nothing like overly exciting, but you know, it's been pretty decent. Maybe I'll pull the foil uh, extent art mythic in a second here. And hopefully, it'll, if I do pull one, hopefully it's a good one. Alright. And we have a Nightshade Harvester, which is a card I'm pretty, pretty high on, especially for like Yarok and. Yarok decks, so to speak. We got Source of Plowshares. We got Court of Ambition. We got a Zura the Enchanter. And a Nevi. And I have not pulled Zura yet, so that's another one to mark down in the books as Epic Foil Legends that I have not pulled, but I have pulled in this box today. So, for diversity, this box has been pretty good. Alright. We have... Okay, we go here. We have a foil, extend our arcane denial. We got abomination of land war, and we just have a foil. Oh no, maybe maybe that's the legend slot. Let's see. But this is a foil rare, and oh, nice! Not the foil mythic we we're looking for, but definitely a very valuable card in the foil extend art opposition agent. So I am not at all angry to pull this one. I will take it. We get our Coiling Oracle and an Immaculate Magistrate. And our last etched foils, we have Anara. We have Marath Wildewell, which is another one I have not pulled. And Quain. So 
pretty good box, all things considered. Uh, I'm very stoked to have pull cards that I have not pulled before. So this will be the last box of Commander Legends collector boosters that I am opening. Maybe I'll buy some loose ones and open them. I don't know. Only time will tell. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a subscribe. If you're not subscribed, then give it a thumbs up. And I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. I am recording this on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, so we are two days away. Um, and I will be cooking, and uh, in between cooking, I will be uh, playing some Shadowlands of the World of Warcraft variety, if you guys are into that kind of thing. But, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a safe and happy holiday. And until next time, I hope you all take care, stay safe, and goodbye.